Okay, and welcome to a new series, I guess I'm going with, uh, the What If series. Uh, this is just a series to take a look at, you know, different situations and games that, you know, might lead to different things. Uh, in this case, or in this episode, I'm going to be taking another look at Darkseed. Specifically, I want to know what happens if you were to stay in the spaceship after you, you know, start it up, and if you don't break the mirror at the end of the game. Uh, so, start it at the spaceship. This large room looks like a control center. Okay, so we're at the control center here. And we're going to you turn it on. You have just engaged the main go. engine startup sequence. And I'm just curious to see if it starts and goes on without us. Um, I don't want to pass too much time because I have a feeling that if you... It wouldn't be wise to press any buttons before reading the owner's manual. Oh, come on. Come on, Dawson. Uh, I don't want to... Uh... There's the control console. Yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to pass too much time because I'm afraid it's just going to lead to a game over. Um, but we shall see. I'll do a little. Um, doesn't look like anything's going to happen. So let me just check the time. Okay. All right. So let me just head back and not break the mirror. <laughs> All right, there goes the spaceship. All right, let's go. Loading times are killer. <laughs> Here we go. All right, now let's see, I guess, who's at the door. Um, yeah, this way. Time has run out. The so alien yeah, uh, embryo implanted in your brain. Instead of smashing the window or mirror die. like you're supposed to, if you just pass Earth the time, you die. <laughs> Which makes sense, I guess, because the librarian does give you the, uh, <laughs> oh, poor Mike. <laughs> the librarian does give you, uh, the medicine to, uh, kill the alien. So, eh. Kind of a no brainer, I guess, but oh well. Oh well. All right, so I also want to take a take the chi ugh, take the time to explore the Dark World house. The horrible shape twists and writhes as it hangs from its biomechanical umbilicus. Mm. <laughs> okay, let's uh, let's go touch it. It's cold to the touch. Oh, well, it's cold. Yeah, because I, I feel like every time I play this game, I just have I just speed run through it. I miss a ton of stuff, so I want to take the time just to look through and see if we can find anything Strange unique and cool. Alien smells are rising from the half dead creatures oh, encased in these glassy. That's where uh, that's where you get put if you die in the dark. Well, that's neat. There's an empty case. Just waiting for the alien's next victim. Which is us. I don't think I really want to climb inside. <laughs> so you can't, you can't climb inside. That's cool. I didn't know you could actually go into this room. This is some alien experiment that appears to have gone wrong. <laughs> Based on... <laughs> the poor creature is still half alive in there. Alright, let's, uh... <laughs> let's combine these items and... Oh, I can't do it. Okay. I guess I have to charge up my, uh, my thing. Yep, he's still half alive too. Well, that's cool though. I didn't know this room even existed. That or didn't know you could even go to this room. So let's see. Let's uh, let's go in this this way. So I guess what's that? That's the Dark World kitchen. So I guess there's no basement. You can't go up the steps that way. I just noticed there's an eye above the door. That's kind of cool. Right. Is there anything else in here? Nope. All 
right, so let's go up here. His teeth are on edge, but that's okay, Mike. Promise it'll all work out. And my teeth are on edge. All right, so this is in his room, I think. That doesn't really make much sense, but... Let's go in here. I guess it was his room that had the shortcut. So is this the bathroom, I guess? He kept saying that uh, this thing could, you know, drain his life force, but I don't know if you can actually make it do that. Okay, so there's a force field there. Hmm. Is there anything else in here? So I think this is the last place in the house, so... I guess with that being said, you know, thanks for taking this, uh, <laughs> this journey with me. Um, sorry it didn't actually, you know, wasn't more fruitful, but, you know, at least we explored and we found some a cool room. <laughs> All right, hopefully the next one will be more entertaining <laughs> or more informative. As always, thank you for watching.